Hi, I'm Kevin Sinner, Pioneer Field Agronomist in Northeast North Dakota and West Central Minnesota. I'm here to talk about two crop diseases, Goss's wilt in corn and iron deficiency chlorosis in soybeans that affect growers in this area and what Corteva AgriScience is doing to address them. The first is Goss's wilt in corn. Goss's wilt has become one of, if not the most troublesome corn diseases in our area over the last eight to 10 years. It is a bacterial disease that overwinters in corn residue, which enters the plants the following year through damage caused by wind, hail, or some other abiotic means. It can lead to leaf lesions that greatly reduce the plant's ability to photosynthesize and can greatly reduce yields all the way up to 20 to 50 percent. The best way to address Goss's wilt is through selecting hybrids that have a greater tolerance to the disease. At Corteva AgriScience, our corn breeders address this by devoting significant resources to select and field screen inbreds and all hybrids specific to the region for several years before they can become a commercial product. First, decades worth of material characterization and the use of predictive models are utilized to determine what material should even be placed in the, in the Goss's Wilt field screening locations. Once the material is planted in the field, several thousand plots are inoculated at a certain growth stage with the bacteria that causes Goss's Wilt. As the season advances, the breeders monitor the disease and determine when the plots should be scored for the disease. When it is time to evaluate the plots, the majority of the scoring is done with a UAV or drone. This takes away any human subjectivity and gives the most efficient and precise scoring available. Once the data is compiled and evaluated against known benchmarks, the Goss's Wilt tolerance scores for each hybrid over the past years are used to help determine which of the products will advance to become pioneer products. Yield and other traits are carefully looked at along with the Goss's Wilt scores to determine if the product will advance. All of this work is done at several locations in the U.S., but each location maintains a regional focus to keep a pipeline of reliable genetics that are specific to the area. The next crop disease we are going to focus on is iron deficiency chlorosis, or IDC in soybeans. IDC is a complex abiotic disease that can be particularly bad in parts of eastern North Dakota and Minnesota. It occurs when there is an inability for the plants to take up iron, usually due to one or many soil characteristics, such as high pH, high carbonates, soluble salt levels, poor drainage, high nitrate levels, among other things. IDC typically leads to intervenal chlorosis during vegetative growth, but in more severe cases can cause stunting, necrosis, or even plant death. Again, the best way to avoid having problems is through variety selection. Soybean varieties can have a very wide range of susceptibility to IDC, so to maintain a robust portfolio of IDC tolerant soybeans, our breeders at Corteva AgriScience put soybeans through much the same process as corn goes through for Goss's will. First, many years worth of data are used along with predictive models again to select material that will be planted at an IDC field screening location. Across the U.S. there are several locations. Uh, like, like the one behind me here, uh, these are predetermined locations and known to have a history of uniform IDC symptoms. Once the fields are planted, they're closely monitored for symptoms to develop, and at a certain disease severity, UAVs are again utilized to score the plots. In recent years, UAVs have allowed for the collection of time series data to assess IDC symptoms over multiple points in time. This allows breeders to evaluate how varieties respond for several weeks after the initial onset of symptoms and can give them an opportunity for additional differentiation in IDC tolerance amongst varieties. The data gathered in these IDC screens again plays a large role in what products advance to become Pioneer A-Series soybeans. Utilizing all of the tools and resources previously mentioned, 
Along with hard work and dedication, our Corteva AgriScience breeders are supplying us with products specific to our area to combat these diseases and maintain the highest yields. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.